Hi, I'm Tamara Snyder with Edelman's Employee Engagement Practice. And every year our team takes a look at Edelman's annual trust barometer study uh, from an, a perspective of what companies can be doing to engage employees. And this year it's very much a story about deep distrust within companies in business and leadership. So you see broad perceptions of fraud, corrupt behaviors at all levels of the company, in leadership, unethical behavior and culture. So Looking at that, regular employees, rank and file folks, are really skeptical too, even more so than management. In fact, we found that regular employees are about 15% less likely to trust the CEO than people in management. So very much a story of deep distrust. But coming out of all of that, we really see that there are three opportunities for companies when it comes to engaging employees. The first is really encouraging a culture of what we're calling inclusive management. So when you look at the fact that CEOs don't have the credibility they used to, it means that one person cannot unilaterally really drive a company's performance. So that means invite more folks to the decision-making table. Of course, that involves employees as well, ideally. And you see companies that are allowing employees to vote on decisions that affect them, like company benefits. They're setting up online discussion groups or even old school focus groups in person to get feedback on decisions that affect people and also looking externally. What are people saying? What are employees saying on social media about the company and its culture? What are they saying on job rating sites like Glassdoor and others? And you know, it's all about really bringing all of those voices into the, the decision process. But then of course the key is that management has to be willing to actually listen to employees and potentially change course as it makes sense. The second opportunity is really around leveraging storytelling as a way to reinforce corporate culture and behaviors. Leaders are so much more compelling when they are just talking about their own experiences, their own lives, versus just looking at a set of talking points and reciting them. So really, communicators have a great opportunity to coach the folks that they work with, their business leaders, to look at their own lives, mind their own experiences for these little anecdotes that can talk about corporate behaviors and what's acceptable within the company. So it's all about asking questions of leaders. Tell me about a time that your parents instilled particular value in you. What was a decision, a really tough choice you had to make and you made it based upon your value system? What does integrity look like when it comes to a particular role model you have? And the third and final thing that we encourage companies to think about is really being strategic about employee ambassador programs. Very popular this day and age, a lot of companies have them. But it's important to really use ambassadors who are employees where they have the most credibility. The biggest topic for this is clearly what it's like to work at a company. You know, employee working conditions, programs, benefits, everything like that. Um, so clearly there's an opportunity to use folks in recruiting communications. But then the other, maybe not quite as obvious way to use employees is talking about a company's innovation story. So CEOs and technical experts within the company have equal credibility when it comes to talking about a company's innovation story. So really, think about using the folks that, are, that know your products and services the best, your scientists, your researchers, your engineers. Use them with the CEO talking about people behind the product stories and what your company's really doing to drive innovation and new products and services.